since we're back to winter time, we're gonna do a, another little propane tank type video. Um, because, well, I have another propane tank and I've got one buried since then, so, and y'all seem to like that video, so I do what y'all want. So anyways, this is my new tank. Um, this is gonna be for the shop. We'll show you what happened to the one we had last year in a minute, but this is a 250 gallon steel propane tank. Um, as with the last video, some things to look for, take them, spray them down, and look for any leaks when they've got pressure on them. This tank has some pressure, not much. It should not do that. Um, make sure this doesn't leak, this little valve right here. If they leak, they make a piggyback for it. I'll show y'all what one of those looks like later on. Make sure that doesn't leak. On this one, it doesn't bolt down, so you just screw it in tighter, or you might have to back it out and repipe to open it. <clears throat> on my last one, we didn't have a data plate, but this is what you're looking for on a data plate. You're looking for a serial number, year of manufacture. The main things that need to be visible are this serial number and the PSI rating. Those are the two things the fire marshal actually gives a shit about. Um, because a lot of butane tanks are like 200 and they'll pop off. This is actually kind of low pressure for what it is. But, you know, we've got our side or max uh, water pressure, 250. Maximum water capacity is 250, which means it'll hold like 205 gallons at 80%. The thicknesses and all that, that's not really important to you. And then the blow off valve is a 215. This is a round pipe gauge. Um, this right here comes off so you can put a monitor on them, but unlike the other one where it bolts on and there's a gasket All you do is back this one out and retighten it and You know a little bit of pipe dope make it work great blow off valve This is probably what most of y'all are gonna be interested in and this is a filler neck So most tanks have a second valve over here um, And it is a liquid propane filler valve or extraction valve this right here this hose goes all the way down to the bottom of the tank and it allows liquid propane to get expelled through the top you put this tap in there this is a propane rego blow off 400 psi valve make sure you use one rated for at least 300 psi or it will blow up on you um and this is hydraulic hose anyways so this right here you take this you hook it into one of these tanks you undo this bleeder valve and open that up, and typically it'll load your propane tank within an hour and a half, two hours. Um, and there's your regulators. That's about all you need to know. And then an update on what we did with our 500-gallon tank from last year is it's now underground. It's been underground for a year. I think I did a video showing it. This one has a sealed cap, so snakes aren't as big of a deal. So, there's that piggyback I was talking about. If you have one that's leaking, you put that piggyback on there. That'll take care of it. Right now, you can see that tank. It's about 80 degrees outside. has about 120 pounds of pressure. Um, there's my blow-off. And there's my gauge. That's where the old four bolts, that's the one you have to replace that damn, what's it called on? Um, what do you call that damn thing? Nor the roosters. That's the one you have to replace the gasket on. You can't really just tighten them up. But it's been holding roughly 50% since the end of winter. The great thing is that underground tank, even though this one's very shallow, that tank's only like a foot underground. So even though it's so shallow, it still holds a more consistent temperature than like that 250, which will be above ground. That 250, when it heats up, it'll be like 30 pounds of pressure higher, which means I can't put as much gas in it. But yeah, so anyway, quick recap. Liquid fill valve, if y'all want me to show a video on how to install these, there's two different kinds. There's the pipe thread kind, which is just where this screws into here, and there's this newer safety check valve type that checks into there. Um, make sure your valves don't leak. This one's empty, it hasn't been set yet, it's going to be for the shop. Um, regulators and POLs, I'll explain that one day. Make sure these don't leak, and make sure it's not owned by some random company, and also make sure this data plate is legible.